Clinical problem solvers, not all elevations in temperature is due to fever. Sometimes an elevation in temperature is due to hyperthermia. It's important to be able to distinguish fever from hyperthermia. Let's first talk about fever. All of us in our hypothalamus, we have the temperature set point. Imagine that being the thermostat of the body. It's set to 37 degrees Celsius. We try to maintain as close to 37 as possible. But let's say you have an underlying inflammatory process like an infection where you get cytokine release. Those cytokines ultimately lead to elevations in prostaglandin E2 through activation of the COX enzyme that increases the temperature set point. So now the temperature set point in the hypothalamus is let's say 39. So at 37, you're going to feel cold. Now you got to increase heat production and decrease heat loss. How do you do that? You start shaking, you increase metabolism, you go under blankets, you vasoconstrict, and all of a sudden you're at the new temperature set point because Fever is due to inflammation through activation of the COX pathway. Fever responds to antipyretics like NSAIDs and Tylenol. Now, this is much different than hyperthermia. In hyperthermia, there is no change in the temperature set point, in the hypothalamic set point. There is no activation of COX pathway. So in hyperthermia, there is no response to antipyretic therapy. In hyperthermia, there's impairment of thermal regulation. For example, if I go out in the hot environment with a sweater on, I start running, I'm increasing heat production through metabolism, I'm unable to really lose heat. So even though I want to be at 37 degrees Celsius, I put myself in an environment where I can't achieve that. So the temperature goes up, heat stroke. Now what if you're exposed to a medication that causes neuroleptic malignant syndrome where you're extremely rigid, increasing metabolism, you're also vasoconstricted, you're not gonna be able to lose heat, temperature goes up. Why is this dangerous? With hyperthermia, the temperature can go up so much that this can lead to rhabdo, DIC, metabolic acidosis. Your tissue cannot tolerate that high temperature.